Hello everyone, we finally hit red, uh, rank 25, or level, I guess, not really rank, but whatever. We got a pack perk. Yeah, boy. Eh, eh, boo. Hey, I got an expert hacker, which I already had. Let's see, do we have the next rank of... No. Actually, wait. Hold on. Okay. Um, let's, let's look at what we want first here. I was thinking about something else. My head was not in the game. Something new there. Oh, we got Gorilla Expert, huh? Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get a uh, home defense next. Eh, uh, actually, never mind. I don't really even need this. Pointless. Okay. Um, let's grab this to reduce the weight of food and drink. Seems like it'd be great. I'll rank this up as well. Okay. There we go. All right. We are good to go now. And also, power armor time. I'm still missing a left arm and a helmet, but hey, we got the rest of it, which is nice. So carrying around uh, eight fusion cores, but hopefully we'll be pretty good. All right. Before we head on out, I'm gonna eat and drink a little bit here. Just to get my uh, stats up, as they should. All right. Excellent, I think we are good to go. All right, <clears throat> now that we've leveled up, we can go ahead and actually do uh, some quests. Yeah. Now that we have power armor, we can start you know, working down some of that stuff. Also, after getting my power armor and the fusion cores out, I dropped like a hundred pounds in my stash, so it was crazy how much it was weighing me down. Good golly. But yeah, we will see what we find. So we're doing that uh, quest for the fire breathers or whatever the hell they are, where we need to do conditioning or something, which is right there. Awesome, I still got my jumps. Alright. Pop. Got him. Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming I need to get up there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. The one thing I don't like about not having a helmet on this armor is that I cannot turn on a light. Kind of sucks. Okay. I'm just gonna follow the arrows then, huh? <clears throat> Did I like totally miss this, or what the hell happened here? Okay, that's a very useful door. I was seeing what was up there. Okay. A note. The shrink. Dr. Joseph was always busy treating anxiety and depression for office workers and politicians in the capital. Seems like a luxury now, but sometimes nothing is more valuable than a talk with someone who will really listen. This way? Okay. What, I want you to jump in there? 
<laughs> uh, no. Hello. Assuming he wants me to go down here or something, right? Is there still like a, uh... I hope I'm going the right way here. You know what? I'm dumb. There's a fucking computer right there. Which I probably needed to interact with before I started doing this. So I'm assuming they want me to go through there as fast as I can. Yeah, damn. If only, right? Okay. Well, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just dumb as hell. Let's go. Hmm. So hit A, B, and then go B, A. Okay. <laughs> Examination will begin in 15 seconds. What button am I hitting? Oh, this button, okay. Exam initiated. Activate initial checkpoint. Checkpoint activated. We got this. Honestly, it might be just faster if you figure out where the button's at and then take your own path down to it. Out of AP. The servers have been a little bit bad today. I've got randomly disconnected like three times. So, we might... Oh, fuck that thing over there. Hell no. We might end up uh, getting disconnected again here at some point. We'll see. Checkpoint activated. Return to start. All right, we're halfway done here. Are you feral? Easy. Never mind. I think we were closer to the place than we were, but uh, never mind. Come on. Power armor might make it hard because we're <laughs> jumping. Captain Trips! We're going. <clears throat> Congratulations, applicant. Please access terminal to initiate final examination briefing. Okay. All right, initiate final exam. Greetings, applicant. This is Melody Larkin. Firebreathers, Captain. Congratulations on your progress thus far. Until recently, we'd now be moving you on to our final exam. A nice, easy run through the next month. But these days, we got bigger fish to fry. The 
scorched creatures have been pouring through Big Ben Tunnel. Someone has to stop them. And the fire breathers are the only ones with the tools and the know-how to get it done. So, for your final exam, you'll be running a course cooked up by our very own Lieutenant Madigan to get you up to speed on dealing with these scorched. Head on over to the Belching Betty Shaft when you're ready. Our handler bot, Bernie, will get you oriented. Come back alive and human, and you're in. Yeah. All right, so now we have to go to the Belch and Betty. Excellent. Well, we will uh, do that here. But first, since we have a quest to check out this Capitol building anyway, we might as well do that. I mean, I don't see any reason not to, since we're close by anyway. Oops, I totally missed that. There we go. I don't know why I'm using this damn revolver. I just only got like 14 shots left, or 20, I guess, counting the ones in the, uh, in the chamber. Huh? Oh. Because there wasn't an actual full roof there. One more shot for good measure. Bop, bop! And he fell through the world. Cool. Been a lot of that stuff today, too. I don't know why. It does seem that the servers are kind of having a bad day today. Some disconnects. I've thrown some grenades and they fall through the world. Been odd. Shotgun time. Oh, we got some robots. DMV, oh my god. No. Overseer's Law, Charleston Capital. If automation still rules West Virginia, Charles, Fusion the generator. Machine. Bureaucracy still pumping away without any people to serve. There's a lesson there somewhere. Dealing with these terminal systems like it's just a normal day in America is somewhere between disturbingly comforting and completely insane. But there's a lot of secrets in this old capital that we'll need to find. Okay, good talk. DMV number terminal. C-39. Calling C-39. Please report to Section B, C-39. And Please wait for your number to be called. N-14. J-47. You are urgently needed to... at Section C. J Please take a number and wait to be served. C-40. C-40. Now, a message from your governor. Loading is your patriotic duty, I'm Ledger. This November, you, my friends, get to decide on the future of our way of life. I know many are concerned with automation, and I know firsthand how it has affected our livelihoods in the short term. Will lift our factories, our towns, and our very homes into the future. So I urge you to vote. I like that even the robots are like, I'm so over this. N15. Calling N15. Last chance. N15. C41. C41. I'm C42. Oh my 
my god. Remember, only a commie commits fraud. Call my number. N15. Calling N15. Last chance. N15. Please wait for your number to be called. C12. C12. Now calling C12. J47. How the fuck do you get C12? What? Motherfucker's passed right over me. What the hell? They call my number. God damn it. They fucking got me. Fuckers got me. Oops, I meant to reload, not loot him like that. I can't believe made you fucking wait through all that. God damn. My immersion. So good right now, holy crap. Just like a DMV in real life. Oops. Yeah, I fucking missed him. Oh, hey guys! Any oh, motherfucker shot at me. Oh, you did? Oh, you did. Hi there. You're dead now. Only one way to go. Looks like it. Okay. Oops. That was a fucking whiff. I keep not hitting them right. That's what I get for changing it from a an accurate stock to a less accurate stock, I guess. Only a couple of the fucking shotgun pellets are hitting them. I need slugs. That's what I need. Where are you squirrely ass motherfuckers hitting? They already had Christmas trees up? Are you fucking kidding me? It wasn't even Halloween! You know what? My bills were left over from last fucking Christmas, too. They didn't even fucking put them away. God damn it. Letter from the president. Uh, I like how they blurred out the the name of the president. God damn it! Yeah, hit you, didn't I, motherfucker? Yeah. All right, industry testing note. Hmm. Y'all, I'm just trying to look at this terminal, and y'all are disrespecting me. God, no respect, I tell you. No respect. Motherfucker, I just got my gun put away. I hear y'all lipping around out there. Come on. Oh, you motherfucker. There. Anyone else? Want to come around this fuck? Oh my god. Okay. Anyone else? 
Wanna come around this fucking corner today? That's what I thought. Good god. Okay, let's go back here then. Hmm. Wait, it's a 44 Magnum. That's not bad. Can I take his sofa and just like put it in my my house? I think that'd be great. Look, if you want to find me? Just come get me. Stomping around in power armor, y'all. Not that hard to find. Come on, Scorched. Let's go. Boys only, huh? Fuck. I need more, uh, what is it, springs? Is that what I need more of? It's springs or screws? One of those. What's this? Crime log? Eh. Don't really care. Jane Doe, huh? Interrogation of one Jane Doe. Sole captive raider in custody after a deadly attack here. Approximately 10.30 p.m. tonight. December 24th, 2082. Girl, you and yours got some nerve. On Christmas Eve, no less. <laughs> now I'll ask you. What is your name? Fuck you! That's my cousin Frank! You was in... <gasps> if that's how we gotta do this, then that's how we do it. Cut the crap, or he'll hit you. <laughs> oh, that's rich. You know, this is a chance that you killed a whole mess of people out there, and now you're gonna answer for it. I know something about that character. The one who uh, got arrested. Interesting. Also, there's a box right there, it looks like. Totally missed that. Anyway. Oh, is this all of her armor? Holy shite! <laughs> what? Did one of the scorch, like, fall or something? That's cool. Anyway, I'm not gonna tell you guys about what I know about that person. 
because that would be spoilers. I'm probably going to forget by the time it happens. So, uh, just know that there's someone named Rose in the game who resembles that person. In a way. So, keep that in mind. I can't even go through those, goddamn, okay. Uh, Office of the Registrar. Guess we go up. Or we could go down, never mind. Right, we can't. Right. Knock, knock, ladies! Oh, just you? Okay. Well, you're dead. How much can I carry, by the way? Ah, barely anything else. Okay. Good to know, good to know, good to know. I highly doubt there's any crafting benches in here. That'd be too convenient. Although, maybe now that I'm looking around and seeing this... Oh, really? A chemistry workbench? Yeah, that's what I thought. Drop that. So, I think it's kind of interesting that, from what it sounded like, they were trying to uh, hold together order, and then people started being raiders. So, it's kind of cool. Kind of a glimpse of like, kind of what happened during the whole, you know, downfall and stuff. I can fucking scrap the goddamn chemistry workbench. I'm a dumbass. Hold on. Uh, infused blood leaf tea. Oh, we got it. Cool. So, did the responders use this place as a HQ too? That's what I think happened there. From what I understand. I like how I'm still, like, getting things. Like, <clears throat> mods and stuff. For the most part. Keeping that gas mask in case I need it, but... Don't know if I will or not. Oh, was this just telling me to leave? What holotape was that? It was just Overseer Hall, huh? Okay, yeah, we're, we're done here, I guess. Ah. <coughs> Excuse moi. So, yeah. Interesting little tidbits. It is kind of interesting learning about how society decayed while, uh, oh, we're right out here. How society decayed while, um, things started to fall apart. Kind of cool. How do I get up there? I can really get up. Oh, I guess I can just do this because I am marsupial, but still. I wonder how normal people are supposed to. <clears throat> I said, I wonder how normal. Motherfuck. Just not high enough, huh? Oh, no, I got it. Yeah, boy! Okay, this one first. Green rocket's blasting off again! Anyone else? Okay. Anyway. Yeah. That's all this up here. This is that little beacon here, huh? Okay. What's inside that place here, I guess? I'll take a look in there and go and see what. What? Yeah, so I've been, um, 
reading things about Fallout 76, like reviews and stuff, and I gotta say, people are complaining about, like, the easiest stuff to deal with. Which I think's hilarious. It's like they're not even trying to give a, you know, game a try. Um, one thing I heard was that the um, food and drink mechanic, like, one person was complaining that they, like, constantly have to be, like, eating and drinking or, like, food takes up most of their inventory space and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, dude... No. First of all, no. Food takes up a very small part of my inventory. I just got a lot of stuff because I'm a hoarder. Um, but I mean, like whenever I'm hurting on like health, I go in and I uh, eat and drink stuff. And that gets my, you know, stuff up anyway. Like, oh, I got some dog food. I guess I'll go ahead and, you know, eat that. Or I got some black mac and cheese. Oh, look. My health's up, and so is my food. Because I just loot everything. And they were complaining about not being able to find food, and stuff like that, or... I always gotta go around and pick flowers and shit, because I'm starving, and... I'm like, dude... Do you not loot? It literally does not make sense to me. Aww. Anyway. Thought that was, a uh, scorched. But yeah, another person I was, uh... Seeing was complaining about, uh... A lack of NPCs. They didn't really go into much detail on that, but I feel like the lack of NPCs is a stupid, like, gripe with the game. Because what do you want your NPCs to do? Give quests? I mean, there's hollow tapes that give quests. There's random events that give you quests. There's literally just stumbling upon something that gives you quests. Like, if you just want to talk to someone. <laughs> Why does it matter if it's a holotape or a real person? I mean, honestly, I prefer the holotapes because they're faster. Because I can move around while I'm doing them and I don't have to stand there and be awkward with an N NPC, you know? But, I mean, if they're talking about, like, vendors, um, there's robot vendors. There's a super mutant who roams around and vends things, which is freaking cool, by the way. I want to point that out. Um, but if they're not talking about either of those NPCs, if they're actually talking about NPCs that are... Oh, I guess this is a quest, so I can't deal with the terminal right now. That's too bad. Anyway, if they're talking about NPCs that are, uh, like... I don't want to say this. That are literally NPCs. And by that, I mean they are... NPCs that don't do anything. Like, they don't add any story, they're just there. They just exist. They just breathe, pretty much. Where you can walk past them, they say one-liners, and then nothing. And you can, like, press E to interact on them, and they'll just keep saying the same line over and over again. Because to me, those aren't NPCs. Those are... fucking... I don't even know. They're stupid. I hate them. They don't add anything. So, I don't know. I feel like the NPC complaint is stupid. Uh, someone else was complaining about players, like it being multiplayer, which is dumb, first of all, because uh, it's a multiplayer game, there's gonna be players. But they said they hadn't like really been able to do anything, like trade with people, because people would trade and stuff like that. And I mean, yeah, where the fuck did I come from? Was it that side? No, I could like killed that fucker. Anyway, when it comes to like players, like of course no one wants to trade right away. I mean, there's no reason to. Like, sure, you can trade stuff, but if you trade like blueprints or plans for things that you have, most other players are gonna have those because the only things I've found are mostly from like quests and stuff. So if you have duplicate plans, chances are other people are going to have the same plans. They're not going to need them. And anyone who has, like, weapons or armor to trade, I mean, they aren't going to really be wanting to trade weapons or armor, first of all, because I scrap everything, and I'm not even done with any of the mods. 
So, me wanting to trade a weapon with someone? It's kind of weird, considering my, uh... I, I, I needed to, like, make my own mods and stuff, you know? There's a stash somewhere, where's it at? Maybe if I read the, uh, terminal here? I'll pause my rant here for a moment. Personal logs. Eh. I'll find it somewhere, maybe. But yeah. I don't know, people just complaining about it. Kind of like, annoying to me. This Holenbrook, yeah, I was just in here, goddammit. Let's see. Another person complained about finding high-level monsters and not being able to fight them, but having to like run away or dying. To which I thought, why are you encountering high-level monsters? Because if you're doing the quests, you should be in level appropriate zones. And if you're, you know, going around, you should see, oh hey, they're level 30, I'm level 10. Maybe I shouldn't be here, maybe I should run away. But from what it sounds like, they're just being dumb. So, I don't know. It seems, it seems dumb. I haven't seen any, like, valid arguments about the game, except for the stash size is small, which they're tomorrow for me, months ago for you guys, they're fixing with an update. Um, but I understand why the stash size had to exist, because they had to limit the amount of things that were loaded per server. And if you increase the stash size, there's more items that have to go, and all that fun jazz, so... How the fuck do I get out of here? You gotta get a door on this level, right? But yeah, so... If you increase the stash size, there's more items that are gonna be there that they need to load in. So they wanted to limit it to begin with. That way it wouldn't... Oh, hey, this is the ground level, okay. They wanted to limit it to begin with, so that way it wouldn't, um... You know, crash the servers or lag the servers or anything like that. Which I understand. So now they're gonna increase it a little bit and see how that goes, but... I also learned from another person, um that if you use one of the crafting benches to make like excessive stuff or like the excess items you can craft i think it's in chemistry or cooking one of the two um anyway you can make excess no it's t the tinker tinker bench you can make excess goods using like 10 of each item and then uh like two plastic and you make like a bundle which reduces the weight a good amount so if you have like a lot of resources, you can kind of condense them into that, which I'm, I haven't done yet, but I'm going to do here pretty quick to see how much space I can save by doing that, because that might actually be a good solution to my uh, my shortage there. So, yeah, but I, yeah, I haven't seen any really valid complaints when it comes to Fallout 76. Um, a lot of the people just seem to comment it should have just been a mod for Fallout 4, or it should have been like a DLC or something for it, and blah blah blah, and... Ah, <sighs> it's annoying. Like, people should just not play games they don't like, and not complain about it. I don't know. Like, I can understand people buying the game and being like, okay, yeah, I didn't really like this. You know, and be a little upset and, you know, talking about it, but it's the people who, like, don't have the game, and who aren't playing the game, and are still complaining about it, that annoy me. Personally. Yeah. Fuck you! Man. So I was really concerned at first about power armor because a thought struck me um, 
after the last episode, and I was like, how am I going to repair it if it breaks? Because I don't have the ability to build a power armor stand. And then I remembered, oh hey, I can literally just go to uh, any of the, you know, power armor benches anywhere in the world and just use them. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> and all that fun stuff, so... Huh? Spineless? You wanna fucking say it to my face, motherfucker? Where you at? Fight me, come on, where you at? Huh? Don't give me no balls, come on, motherfucker, let's go. Where you at? I was like, oh, that's a glow shrooms. Where are you at? Hey, turn around. Turn around. Yeah, tear me apart, you say. Get fucked. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I haven't found one of those trees with resin in it yet. I really want to see if I can find one and then set up camp near it, because I don't need my fucking copper mine anymore. You may have noticed it was gone. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I really want to find one, see if I can actually harvest the resin from a, a resin tree. Because that'd be great, because adhesive is really hard to come by. And I always need it for, like, everything. How am I doing on weight? Eh, I got 25 pounds. Let's go. Okay, so we're heading down to the rust pick. No, the rust pick's over there. What is this one? A little bunker here. Okay. Oh, it's a Horn Ride Air Purifier site. I'm assuming I can't use these, so I'm not even going to bother. Because we couldn't use the other ones, so... Ooh, loose screws. Dumb mind of a doof. Anyone here? But yeah, I'm interested to see how much they're going to uh, increase the storage capacity by. When they uh, end up doing that. So pretty much the next video after this one, maybe? Or the video after that, I don't know. Depends on how much I feel like recording tonight. But, yeah. It'll be interesting. Yeah, come on. Four months. I think this power, this, this fusion core started at 75%, didn't it? We haven't gone through one yet, have we? Hmm. They last a long ass time. So there's nothing there, so let's go over this way. I saw a ghoulie! Thought I was a power armor over there. I was like, ooh. Any helmets? Anyway. I think I've decided that uh I'm not going to do the RP right now. Where I'm uh going kind of insane. And I eventually start preaching and starting the Church of Adam. I think what I want to do is if we do encounter players once we get pushed to talk to work which should happen tomorrow um i'll just like try to convince them to take radiation it to be great and then uh i think in separate videos that aren't related to this particular one i'll just do some recording on some weird rambling and 
I'll make a church and it'll be great. And yeah, it'll be fun times. I think it's gonna be fun. Y'all can take it or leave it, I guess. Oh, it's a band! That's cool. Too bad I don't have any friends. <laughs> hey, bitch! Hey! Why are you running that way? You coward! Mother. Fuck. Well. Let's just get on the roof then. <laughs> God damn, I love this so much. Let's see, what do we have here? Recipe. It is four. Hold on. Squirrel on a stick? Oh, hell yeah. I feel like I already know that, but I'm not 100%. I didn't know it. Huh. Oh yeah, we got a Christmas plans hollow table. Let's go. Oh, sit down, Tanner. I swear you can talk the bark off a tree. Stuff it, Abigail. What is this nonsense about throwing a Christmas party? We're already rationing supplies. We have another winter like 78. Our people need this. They've been struggling on for years through the war, radiation, views and some raiders. They need something normal. Something to give hope that things will be better. We don't have the supplies. We need to keep them for the war effort. And wait to hold the town long till I was out meet the Brotherhood rebels? It's beyond deceit. You think I'm some dumb hick? Just on account of the fact that you abandon your people. And your accent. I know that you're trying to sway the vote next spring by letting your friends hoard food. I checked the ledgers. Don't do in the dark what you don't want brought out in the light, Tanner. What? You! Infuriate! If you're fixing to have a fit, best sit down before you bite your tongue clean off. <laughs> We're gonna ruin my carpet. It's all gonna be donated food. And we'll only keep the lights on for a couple hours. And if you're sweet, I might even let you wear the Santa suit. I will never! My golly. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, a cryogenic grenade. That's cool. Yeah, that's right. Get down. Sit down, motherfuckers. That just leaves me outside, right? Yep, okay. Phone. Ugh. Mutant hound stew. Ow. I need to get a helmet. It is way too dark in these areas. Hey, Reaver! Fuck you! Alright, what's the other way here? Some cigarettes, a flip lighter, salt and pepper. Ah! Fucking goddammit! It was just glowy all of a sudden, and it was like fucking surprising, okay? It's not that the fucking rad roach was scary, is that it just surprised me. It was like a jump scare. Clara Weber Diary. Hmm. Ugh. Clear this area out before we. See, that one didn't scare me because I kind of heard it and saw it coming first. So, yeah. Okay, I think before we go further down, 
I'll go ahead and grab this stuff now. Wait, a crossbow? What? There's a crossbow in this game? Mick Flanagan's Terminal. Oops. Ah, uh, yeah, this is gonna be good in there. Okay. Get some welding goggles, glowing fungi. Just go ahead and scrap everything here real quick. Crossbow! What the fuck? This thing does 72 damage? It's almost as much as my fucking sniper rifle. That's, that's almost as much as my sniper rifle. What in the God's name? And it fucking weighs less too. Oh my gods. Ain't that about a bitch. Holy fuck, I'm keeping that. Oop. It takes actual like, bolts too, right? Yeah, pretty sure I can make those too. Hmm. All right, well, let's eat and drink a little here. Got mutant hands too, there we go. Hey, eat raw plants or fungi. Wait, that's not raw plant or fungi. Okay, whatever works for you then. I wonder if the mole men and the mole rats fight. It doesn't look like they do. Ah, motherfuckers! Hey, you want some more rat? Let's go! Get on my level. One rat testing site number two key. Huh. Mole miner gauntlet. Combat shotgun. Excellent. Open miner lockers and horn right testing two. Where's that at? Oh, down there. There's another dig site now. Okay. Interesting. Why does he have a key here so far from that location? Dead end. Oh, shivers for some reason. Damn. My toes are cold too. Disarm it! Ooh. Oh. Oh! First of all, wow. Oh, you run out of rockets, so you gotta use your fists now, huh? You got the shotgun? This is a shotgun. Where'd your boss's body go. There it is. Missile. Shotgun. Throwing knife. Yo, bro, shotgun. Missile launcher. Oven mitt. I'll just loot your stuff and I'll scrap it at some point. Fancy lad snack cakes. Ooh, there's a holotape there, too. Your orders arrived. Hello, Mac. I wanted to let you know I procured those tools you and your boys were asking after. Along with all the nails and safety equipment you could need. But we don't do deliveries. Bring the money to my place in Welch. You know where to find the Duchess. Welch, huh? Okay. Okay, okay. Well. That was interesting. So there was like three mole miners down here and what not. What the hell are the mole miners, I wonder? Are they like mole people? <laughs> that one does 60, mine does 81. Fire rate is five. 
fire rate is 20. Mm, maybe I will hold on to this combat shotgun. God damn, this double barrel shotgun though. So much damage. Also, it's level 35, so we're gonna get rid of it. And a missile launcher. Mole Miner Gauntlet, 72 versus 71. Ooh. And it's medium, too. Oh, but it's only one handed, isn't it? Tell you what, we'll hold on to these. Kind of go from there. Well, we're over. Wait again? Underweight, I don't know. What the hell I want to say there? Excellent. The alien Blaster is a powerful energy beam weapon that disintegrates enemies. Oh, there's. Well, there's an alien in this game. I've seen one. But. It's that, uh. Monster. That. Flatwoods monster. It's definitely a fucking alien. It's gotta be an alien. I wonder if it drops a blaster every time you kill it. Also, it's gotta be a pain in the ass to get the energy cells for the uh, alien blaster, unless they use just generic energy cells rather than the alien blaster ammo. Hmm, questions, questions. Okay. So we've searched all that. Okay. Um. Just look around real quick here. Oh, a you mine it vending machine. Ah, son of a bitch. Give me that miner's map. Identify it. Is it those two? Yeah, those two. Okay. I'm not gonna buy the other ones because I'm poor as fuck, okay? I only got like 200 caps to my name. Which is sad. Alright, let's reload. All the weapons good? Yeah, they're good, okay. Beautiful. Look at all this beautiful volcanic, like, ash. So beautiful, right? And that shit's even like fiery too. Oh my god, this is a beautiful place. I wish I could find some interesting like ore deposits around here. That'd be excellent. Oh. Walking or driving this area could resolve this area. Okay. Fire breather. Applicant detected. Kick ticket issue. Please collect your gear. Oh, I got a fire breather. Kit ticket. Cool. Examination free pay. Hollow tape issue. What's the helmet look like? Oh, it's legitimate that. Okay. Bleeding on equipment is not encouraged. Please oh, wait, what? Proceed to examination target. They gave me a anti scorched training pistol. Eh. Not really worth it, I feel. Use of deadly. Force is authorized against infected personnel. Oh, I gotta listen to the holotape. Welcome, recruit, to your final exam. I'm Hank Madigan, fire breather lieutenant. Exam simple. Reach the bottom of the mine, hit the emergency beacon down there, and come back up. All you gotta do is survive a little slice of living hell. All the scorch that call it home. And I get this is extreme. Damn. But we need to know how to hack it before you got half a dozen other people counting on you. But you're not going in empty-handed. Along with your suit, you've been issued a modified 10mm. We 
figured out the scorched aren't big fans of depleted ultrasite. Took a field trip to AMS HQ to figure out how to make the stuff, but it's the most effective tool we found for putting them down. So time to prove you can put it to good use. Suit up, strap in, and move out, recruit. I like my guns better, so we'll do with that. <clears throat> okay. Head on in. My guns do more damage, so I mean, 25% on 17 damage is not going to do anything. I mean, that's... Let's see. Let's assume 20. You're going to get 5 extra damage, so it's going to do 25 total. That's not worth it. And I can be doing like 80 damage with this gun. Or, I can literally just, you know, hit him with uh, my axe. Also, um, my mole miner got... I can't equip all on power armor. Duh. I can't equip gauntlets and power armor, you fucking dumbass. God damn it. Well, I'm an idiot. Okay. Anyway, moving along. I hope I find a power armor helmet in here somewhere. I don't know why I would, but I just hope I do. Pardon me, gotta take a look around everywhere first. All the wine and whiskey, goddamn. Safe, sturdy robot chest piece, awesome. Just what I always did not need. <clears throat> Maybe it'll be good though, I don't know. Okay, into this fun place we go. This is literal hell. I'm going to hell right now. There's things like ore or something we can pick up, you know. See a couple there. Anyone else? No? Okay. I like a dead fire breather. Just got the right idea using an SMG rather than uh, the pistol they gave us. Duct tape! Mm -hmm. I'll take the grilled red oak, why not? Alright, let's uh, drink a little bit. level here then. A missile and a mining light. Huh. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna keep that. Uh, let's get rid of the submachine gun. I could also scrap that. Because I'm not gonna use it. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. What am I wearing? Why am I not wearing my... Oh. Apparently I can't. I'm wearing the uniform. Okay, whatever. I'll let it go for now. Bowling pin. Motec tape. Oh, yeah. We got a combat shotgun. Okay. Time to start looting Scorched again. Where'd I kill the last one at? Oh, right there. Boo. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and scrap these one more time. Let's 
Let's grab that one. Get rid of that one. And that one. Also, what I could get rid of is the missiles that I'm carrying around like a dumbass. Because they, uh, well, weigh like three fucking pounds each or something. You can keep your short hunting rifle. Oh. Okay, squad leader. Tim and Andrew are both dead. Now what the hell are we supposed to do? Shut up, Sai. She's recording. Entry two. We've lost Timothy Wolf and Andrew Rhodes to a swarm of scorched. And the rest of us barely made it past them alive. I'm beginning to think Melody Larkin may have underestimated the difficulty of this exam. You're damn right she did. This is suicide. Well, the hell with this. I'm going back. No, you're not. You're sticking with us. Why? So we can get picked off one by one until we're all dead? No way. Not me. You know what, Sai? You've been acting like a coward ever since we started tackling this. And now, Tim and Andrew are dead because of you. What the hell are you talking about? I saw him, Max. When those Scourged pushed through the tunnels, they came at us from all sides. Tim and Andrew were holding and they told us Sai to watch the back, but he did it. He ran away and left their rear flank wide open. That's what took them down. Bullshit! She's lying, Max. I'll fuck if you knock it off. Mark my words, you'll never be part of this squad again. Come on. The hell with both of you. I'm out of here! You're seriously letting him go? Yeah, Rita. We're better off without him. Where was the uh, other one at? God damn it, I can't fucking see when everything's dark. I need a helmet. That's some really green stuff there. Is this a dead end? I think it is. I may have gotten stuck. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Oh, my gun's durability is like fucked up on that one. Okay. No more uh, rifle, I guess. He's down. Okay, he's going this way. Seriously, what in the hell happened to this place? Did it get hit with a fucking nuke? Is this where the nuke impacted West Virginia? Is this fucking mine? Either they chose this mine to hit and not something else of more value. Oh, I guess it is pretty close to the capital though, so maybe they were off target or something. Oh, thank God, another Tinker's Bench. How dare you dodge my attack somehow by moving slightly to the left? How dare you back up and move my dodge my attack again? I got the time thing in it. Okay, uh, what else we got here? Okay. Ooh, a focused automatic receiver for the shotgun. Excellente! Okay, moving on.
Boom, headshot. Well, Reed is fucked. Oh, hey guys. Oh, hey guys. How's it going? Wow, well, the angry mob really came out. With all their pitchforks and shit. Where am I getting shot from now? Oh, is that there? Hey, guy. you have on you? Hunting rifle? You didn't have a hunting rifle, you motherfucker. Okay, first of all, rude! I said, first of all, rude! Okay. Hold on. We gotta loot. Nothing in the steamer trunk? Wow. That's fucked up. Let's fucking kneecap his ass. There we go. Anyway, that hollow tape we did not finish uh, listening to. Part three? Entry three. Sylvester left the team some time ago. We heard his screams echoing through the mines only minutes after he left. <laughs> Rita and I are all that's left. Despite the odds, we've somehow made it to the beacon. What's supposed to happen when we activate that beacon? I don't know. I suppose we'll get Melody Larson to give instruction about how to get out of here. Well, there's no reason for us to stand here and wait. Push the damn thing. <coughs> I got fucked. I'm with you, Max. We don't make it out of here. I just want you to know. It's been a real honor, Rita. Likewise. Now let's go show those scores what it means to be a fire breather. Yeah, but they died. So. It sucks. Assault Rifle, Fierce Receiver! <laughs> Fuck me! No! Stop! Okay. Whew. No Christmas music. No. None of that. So... I guess that other journal entry was the way that I didn't go before. Okay, first of all, rude. Dicks. Over here trying to fucking loot, and motherfuckers are like, oh, better fucking assault this man. Assholes. Anything secret back here? No? Okay. Had to be sure. Oh, yeah, boy. Tearing a lot of shit on me right now. Yep. 
Miss the stairs. Ooh, a modelson bob modelson medicine bobblehead. Ooh, and boiled water. Hell yeah. Hmm. I can jump back up here. I know. I know weak legged motherfucker. But why did I go down here? Was there anything down here? I don't think there was. I don't see anything. Yeah, there's no point in that, okay. Fine with me. Well, it works. I am, uh, reminded of Morrowind while I'm chilling here in this hellish place with the uh, the mountains and volcanic areas under uh, Red Mountain. It's just me, though. Is it just a loop? Yeah, it's just a loop. Okay. Oh. Okay. So where's the first journal at then? There was that guy dead there. There was another fire breather there, right? Did I miss one? Oh. Is it on? Yeah. Yep. Here the we red are. light is on, so it's recording. <clears throat> this is Maxine Ballard, squad leader of the Scorch Slayers. We're making this recording to document our descent into Belching Betty Mines for the final exam. Well, sandwich exam. All oh, right. For the fire breathers' final exam, we're supposed to head inside, find the emergency beacon, and watch out for sports. Piece of cake. I don't know. It's so easy. Why isn't anyone else completed the exam? Because they weren't us. We've been hunting scorched at the farms for days. How much harder could the ones in the mines be? Grow a little backbone. Come on, guys. Let's stick together on this. All right, all right, shut up. <laughs> okay, Scorch Slayers. It's time to lock and load. Let's get the job done. All right, that was an entry one. They were all cocky and shit, and by the second one, they were like, everyone's dead. Oh my god, oh my god. And then at a three, they were like, okay, we're fucked, let's go. They named themselves the Scorch Slayers. I guess if they're the Scorch Slayers, then I'm the Doom Slayer. All right. Do we got to talk to the robot boy again? Yeah, we do. What is up, my dude? All examinations complete. Congratulations. Issuing orientation hollow tape. Please proceed to Charleston Fire Department for company registration. That's for the psycho bitch. Do I actually have to go back? I do. Okay. Well, it's right down the road. Might as well. So. I don't get something. And I mean, it makes sense if we were the only one doing this quest line and uh, fire breathers all died before that test got taken too many times. But there aren't any like weird off branches that we couldn't get to or anything that the squish could have came from in that area. So essentially, if someone passes that exam and they manage to kill all the Scorched, that exam can't be used again because there's no more Scorched there. Unless the Fire Breathers purposefully round up Scorched 
put them in there, and then aggravate the shit out of them with the fucking siren, just for the sake of a test, which seems kind of dumb to me. So I highly doubt that's the case. Successful graduate detected applicant survival rate. <laughs> no? Okay. How about- ooh! Yay! Okay, how about this one? Trading post and medical supply. There's a priority one message. Rusty pick. Range temporarily closed. Stopping the scorch. Excavator armor. Oh yeah. Yields here. And rumors that excavating monomer. While may not. While may not the mining method of the future, was actually a seriously rigged hunk of machinery. Smoke, fire, gas resistant, and apparently the uh, Garans kept all the tech to make them in their very own basement. Any vibrators that find themselves in the vicinity of Bromwell should pop into the old Grahan HQ and see if they can find any old suits lying around. Melody. Uh, scouts for AMS HQ. Big Bend off limits. Schematic archive. Anti-scorch mod standard issue. Oh, cool. Uh, support. User access denied. What was that? Current duty, big band. Oh. Have to go through him for access. Shotgun mods. Big Ben tunnel. Rifle mods. Big Ben tunnel. Okay. Hmm. What is support? That's what's interesting to me. Support. I mean, like, grenades? Or, like, when I think support, I think, like, LMG and shit. Right? Wasn't this safe? Alright. What is this? Oh, listen to priority message. Okay, hold on. Good luck with your training, applicant. My training's done, my we'll dude. Fire breather. Oh, you don't have any fucking money you on you. Yet. Piece of shit. Give me that short pew, my dude. Fire breathers are the elite of the hmm. responders. Fuck! That was my arm! God damn it. One at a time. <sighs> that was what I actually had equipped. Okay. God damn it. You need supplies. I am programmed to trade match May in heaven. Nice to see more people coming to Charleston. This city has seen a lot. Quick. <laughs> How many of these each? Two. So I need. You can. Thirteen. Up here. There we go. Yeah, so apparently, I'm now without a lot of my armor. I'm missing my left and right arm and my left leg because I've been scrapping them, thinking that I had them equipped. Excellent. Because when you're in power armor, nothing shows up. 
as being Your equipped to you. Seer says, Hello, Vault Dweller. Glad you made it to Charleston. Cool. Okay. Well, anyway, put our pastoral vestments. And we'll go ahead and uh, end things here. <sighs> Fuck. Um, actually, no, wait, I'm sorry. Well, we're gonna listen to this first. There are 800,000 outstanding support calls. There is one priority call accessing. Maria, Melody, whoever's down there, it's Madigan checking in. <laughs> At long last. I'm up here just outside the top of the world and I found something, something I think could be game changing. Don't ask me where I got it. I just need you to send backup up here quick. The best guns you can spare. Call me back at this frequency as soon as you can. Madigan out. Man, the fire breathers, or I guess the responders, were just onto like so many things that were just like game changing, huh? Like, whatever he found, the excavator suits, um, the anti-plague thing, all that stuff that they had, like, never finished. Because, well, they all died somehow. How unlucky for them. <laughs> So let's see, we got, a uh, Medigan's Trail up there, we have that quest up there. Everything else looks like it's down in this area. Those two excavations, learning about that, the next journal, and that locker. Right? Nothing else hiding around anywhere, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, well, next time, um, I think we'll just do this one. Which was the, uh, the camp thing. Um, just to get that out of the way. And then we'll see about going to the top of the world. And seeing if we can, uh, figure out what's going on there. So, yeah, I'm gonna go back to camp and I will see you guys all next time. So, until then, bye now. <laughs>